Mark Pirro. Are you ready? All right. Has anybody heard the song Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald by Gordon Lightfoot? Hey, that song creeped me out when I was a kid. If you've heard it, you know what I'm talking about. It's a weird, weird song that Gordon Lightfoot did about a ship uh, that sailed on the Great Lakes. It was the biggest freighter ship to ever be on the Great Lakes. Most modern, had the best radar, best uh, radios, all that good stuff. Anyways, uh, one day uh, in November, and Gordon Lightfoot calls it the gales of November. These storms that come down out of Canada over Lake Superior, like just wreak havoc. And a lot of ships sink within the same like couple weeks of these storms. Um, God damn. Uh, <laughs> Yes, I'm in it. I'm in it deep. Uh, anyways, uh, the song, like, it, it really, really, like, intrigued me what it was all about. So I did some research, found out more about it. The ship sank mysteriously on Lake Superior in the middle of November, and nobody could figure out what happened to it. It just, like, disappeared. And there were all these rumors about the Great Lakes Triangle and aliens and all this stuff. And... It, it was a big mystery, and we're talking the biggest ship on the Great Lakes disappears within like two minutes. They knew it sank, but they couldn't figure out how. Um, it was filled with iron ore pellets, made it really heavy. And uh, why, why were they in there? Well, it was a freighter ship. It would ship iron ore back and forth, like from Chicago to Cleveland. And Got it? Okay. Questions, anybody? Anybody lost yet? Um, Anyways, uh, Jacques Cousteau did a, uh, a, uh, a dive like in the 80s to find this ship, and he found it on the bottom of the Great Lakes, cracked in half. And unfortunately, everybody in the crew died, and it, it was a really tragic thing. I grew up in Detroit. I remember hearing about it. Happened like early 70s. Yeah, Detroit. Woo! <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, go check that song out. Gordon Lightfoot's... <laughs> Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. It's, it's a true story. Why did it sink? They don't know. They really don't know. It just, they found it cracked in half. It, it sank within minutes. It's no distress signal, no nothing. Just went down. So, anyways, that's your history lesson from Mark Pirro. Hope you liked it. I hope he learned a